Hey, this is Adam from Blue Line. So you've seen that we've already done a dry fly with our chubby tying video. Then we taught you how to cast a couple dry flies. But now we're gonna show you how to rig them up. So today we're out here on the river, but I wanted to do a quick video on how we set up our dry flies. So one of the first things that we will do is just ev everybody would know this. So we've just got a, a pretty chewed up chubby that we've got tied on here coming down to our line. Now remember one of the things that, to remember when you are tying up uh, dry fly rigs is I do like to use nylon tippet for this. Nylon floats a little better. It's neutrally buoyant as they say so it doesn't actually sink like fluorocarbon but uh, like to use a nylon line to start with. The next thing and I've already kind of skipped a step for you is I've got my next fly and I've already tied in on to a piece of smaller tippet. So I like to a lot of my dry fly rigs I like to use one size of tippet to the next size down. So I would do like 3x to 4x or 4x to 5x or 5x to 6x, whatever whatever fits your applications. So I've already got a little length of nylon tied on to this fly here. About a foot and a half I would say is about what we need. Now the best, the easiest thing to do it is I just like to tie off to the hook bend. Uh, pretty similar to how we would tie just a nymph rig. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna take our, the end of our line that we're gonna tie our tag to, or our second fly. I'm gonna make that loop. Then I'm gonna stick the hook of the, the front fly through it, and I'm gonna spin that fly probably five or six times. Now I'm gonna kinda trap the gap of the hook with my thumb obviously not pushing too hard, but I like to just trap it right there. Take the tag, slide it through the end. Now I'll come up here and grab both the fly and the tag in one hand and the line in the other. Wet it and then just give it a pop down so it's nice and tight on your line. So there we have it. So now we're going to come in and just trim that tag end up. We've got our front fly. I like to just give them just a quick little test to make sure those not seated properly. So everything that we used here was a clinch knot. Just a clinch knot to the front, a clinch knot to the back, and then a clinch knot to the next one. Now as I go to dress my flies, I like to get some uh, you know, uh, gink or grease or loon, aquel, whatever you like to say. I'll put those on my fingers, grease the flies up, and then as I'm uh, as I'm finished, I'll kind of just rub the excess onto the line, and just do that for the next couple, all the way up, and I'm ready to go. Well, guys, we know I don't fish a ton of dry flies, but hopefully you do. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you did like it, please click like. That helps us out. If you like a lot of our videos and you want to see more from us, please subscribe. That helps us out a ton and helps us be able to bring these videos to you. Thanks so much. Hope to see you guys on the water.